What's up YouTube? This is the disassembly of the ASUS G53, if I can get it in focus, G53J or JW. And um, the reason I'm disassembling this is because uh, one of my, I don't know how many of my RAM cards have gone bad, but um, I already bought them. I got some G-Skill ones. They're uh, 4 gigs each, so I got Oh no, wait, yeah, yeah, four gigs each, and I've got four of them, that makes 16. I assume this model takes 16 gigs, I have Windows 7, 64-bit, uh, so, yeah, so far I've taken apart the, I've taken out the um, keyboard and the palm rest. You could uh, see that part in um, some other person's videos. There are a couple of them online for the uh, G5 series laptops. It's pretty pretty simple. There are a couple of clips up at the top here. You just stick something in there and then just pop it out. And then for the palm rest, you uh, unscrew one screw here, and then you move this. This is like a locking mechanism, and you sort of just move it over. You push it over that way. And so this is what you have thus far. The memory RAM cards are underneath this little thing here uh, but uh, you can only see one card underneath here and the other two are hidden on the other side behind the computer which you have to get to by unscrewing basically everything and then there's one more apparently hidden underneath all of that so that's a total of four my my uh, my model came with four RAM um, slots I'm not sure how many yours comes with, but uh, I have a 3D model, not showing off, just saying. <laughs> and uh, so right now I've been I've been unscrewing everything. So I've just started to take out the M 2.5 by 7. Now you can even see it on this. I'm using my phone. There we go. M 2.5 by 7s. There's several of them. I've just taken out most of them. I've got a few more to go. I'll uh, check back once I've done that. Okay, I'm done with all of that. Now I'm going to unscrew the screws on this metal plate here. And it seems that they have like numbering, like a numbering system on it. This is one. I'm guessing this is two. It doesn't have a number though. Here's three, four, five, six, and seven. And I assume those are the only ones that I have to unscrew. By the way, people, uh, by uh, opening up your laptop, uh, you are avoiding your warranty. So do this at your own risk. Uh, I hold no liabilities for your decisions. <laughs> And uh, if this YouTube video sucks, well, too bad. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these in order. And then I'll check back again. See you. Alright, so I've finished unscrewing all of those seven screws. And also another note. Uh, it'd be good to have some sort of note, you know, saying where the screws came from. I just tore up a piece of paper and just wrote, you know, where these screws came from, what these screws are. This one's the... Uh, palm rest, what the hell does that say? Palm rest lock screw. This is the 2 by 5 by or 2.5 by 7s under the palm rest. And these are the seven numbered screws. <clears throat> so now I guess we're going to have to turn this thing over. And should be able to pop this thing out, I guess. Um, Oh, look at that. There we go. Yeah. This is what it looks like after it's popped off. <clears throat> so you can see there are a couple more RAM slots. Why won't this thing focus? Stupid phone. There we go. So here's a couple of slots in there. So you can only see three of them. Apparently there's one more hidden underneath there somewhere. I'm not quite sure where it is. 
but um, since I'm dismantling it, I might as well dismantle it fully and then so I can clean the fans out too because it's been a couple of years. My warranty's out, so I'm just going to dismantle the whole thing. I guess the fans are underneath here. Anyways, and to get to the fourth slot, I have to dismantle the whole thing anyways, so I'm going to clean out the fans and hopefully that'll make it run a little bit smoother. Um, there are several more screws I have to unscrew. You have to unscrew as well. Oh, also, so here's a second um, spot for your hard disk. If you want to add another hard disk drive, you can probably pop one in here. Shouldn't be too difficult, but uh, I have 750 gigs in here, so I don't have a problem with memory, or a hard disk memory anyways. Yeah, so I'm going to figure out what to do next. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check back real quick. Okay, so I unscrewed these screws underneath the battery compartment, and then you should be able to pop this thing out. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. So we need to take off the screw. I mean, we need we need to uh, take off the screen because there are two more screws on opposite sides of the screen. One there, one there. So we got to take off the screen, and apparently there's more screws we have to unscrew over here. One there, one there, and then you can pull the screen off, and also these screws that hold the screen in place. So I'm going to do that. Correction, there are six screws, three on each side, on these screen hinges. Also make sure to note how these wires are oriented. There's one wire that goes across the back over to the other side and the other wires are sort of just just stuck over this one screw here. I just found out while trying to take off this piece from this corner uh, I had my computer arm made I don't know like a month ago, like a couple months ago before my warranty expired the son of a gun super glued this freaking piece into here son of a gun you know and it's all broken and sh crap, you know, look at this, look at this. The guy super glued the damn thing and it's all broken sh Man, I'm pissed. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Just kind of upsetting. You know, what kind of a moron would, s what kind of a a-hole would super glue the damn thing? Anyways. You know, these things aren't supposed to be super glued on, you know, they, they're supposed to have clips. You know, they have clips. Just focus, phone, focus. See, they're supposed to have clips. So. Yeah, man, a freaking douche. I swear to God. It's the nerve of some people. Anyways, moving on. So I'm going to unscrew these two screws. And I'll report back also... Um, for your screen, be careful of the wires. They're sort of connected and they're not very long, so you can't actually separate your screen from your computer just yet. Okay, so those two tabs, and that is connected to this piece of the computer, which is, I guess, these two work with the lights and the little power button, and then I guess this one works with the speakers or something. Yeah, so disconnect those before you pull it off of the motherboard. Now we have access to the fans. One right here, one right here. If you want to clean the fans, just go ahead and unscrew the fans, I guess. That's what I'm going to do. Unscrew the fans. So here's the hidden second, or I guess the fourth, last RAM drive. So that's that. There you have it. That's pretty much all I was going to do. I'm not really going to do anything else further than that. Um, yeah. Looks like this plug goes to the fan for this fan over here. And a couple more wires for this fan. Uh, a couple more wires for the screen. This one looks like the AC uh, power adapter thing. I just wanted to show you guys what the fan looks like after it's pulled out. 
this is about two years worth of use it's slightly dusty on the inside it's not that bad but you know there's some build up on the fan itself the thing that you want to clean the most would be the cooling fins here that's where the exhaust uh, heat hot air goes out of the little vents on the outside and most of that dust will block the air from going out so you're going to want to clean that off with something <coughs> sorry dusty with something and uh, you can probably use condensed air I don't have any cans of air <coughs> so I'll probably just wipe it with something so this is just that fan I haven't done this one yet you can pull these out just by unscrewing three screws and uh, pulling out the wire and it pops out easily enough you just wiggle it out and it comes out so I'm gonna do that for this side and do it for that side I've already installed my two RAM cards in to these two slots I've got two more to go on the front side I will do that and I will report back to you just want to show you guys how much crud there is on the cooling fins look at I sort of used a cotton swab and I mean it does not it's not very delicious I gotta tell you camera won't focus 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 that's one part of it here's the other side it's quite gross I'm gonna need like at least two if not three minimum to clean all this crap out here's cotton swab number two and does that not look absolutely delicious and I'm still not done yet there's still some crap all over the place I mean this is really you know the reason why your computer overheats because all this crap you know just it's just disgusting I feel like a doctor you know like cleaning out some fat guys arteries okay I just replaced the other two memory rams and uh, they're blue looks pretty cool I guess yep um, basically you take the top one off first and then you can have access to the bottom one um, if you don't know you undo these clips by pushing them out to the side and they pop up there are two clips on each side you just push them out to the side and then these things will pop up just pull them out and this one will pop up or you have to do there's another clip down here you have to do right here another one down there you push them out to the same sides and then you uh, this one pops up, pull them out. The new one's back in. And there you go.